Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Fcos here and today I am bringing you uh, a little bit of a different video. So this was this video was requested by the user T-Rex on YouTube. Uh, he gave me this video idea and he said, nice video dude, I'm just reading it off my phone here, nice video dude, could please give me some tips on how to complete the Firefly Hunter journeys. I didn't cras quite grasp the idea of how clans work and how to complete the 12 week thingy, thanks. So I just replied saying I'm not 100% on it but I'll do my best, I'll do some digging. And then he replied to me saying at F cuz many people are looking to platinum this game prior to part 2 so this is a good time to make a video guide on the PvP trophies as it's what keeps most people from getting the platinum for this game. So what I've done here is I've put together 4 tips and tricks to kind of help you. Uh, do this one now if you don't know what the trophy is what right at the beginning of the game on the PvP when you pick whether you want to be a survivor or a firefly I picked firefly from firefly for my first time uh, But as you see in the gameplay here, I've recently Passed the 12 week challenge for firefly and I'm trying to do it for the survivors now What this is is you need to try and survive the 12 weeks and seven days uh, to get this platinum trophy <clears throat> and I've put together oh, some four tips to try and help this and they might oh, seem man, three of them might well no a couple of them might seem very obvious but a lot of people don't actually end up doing it the so the first one that I'm going to be telling you guys is to try and play with friends so the reason I say try to play with friends is because uh, when you're playing with friends, it's easier for them to set you up to do things. It's easier to do better in a game. But it's also not just that. They can help you with the next tip that I'm going to bring on, which is they can help you with your challenges. Um, challenges are a massive part of this game. Uh, if you don't pick the right challenges, you will lose your clan. Um, so I'm going to go on to the next tip right here. Which is to make sure you choose easy challenges, but make sure to switch the challenges up. Now, what I mean by this is, I think it's every fourth or fifth day, something like that, uh, of every week, you get a challenge thing that comes up saying that if you don't complete it, a certain uh, percent of your population is going to be killed off in your clan. Um, I recommend the, uh, the downs revives slash heals executions and downs with the revolver or downs with a specific weapon that you use and change it up every single week because the more you choose the same challenge the higher the amount of heals revives uh, downs executions you actually end up having to get every single time you pick it um, now the next one is Probably the most important, in my opinion, is make sure you play Supply Raid. Don't play anything else. Don't play Survivors, because you only get one life. Uh, so you're not going to be able to complete the Downs challenges uh, very easily, uh, if at all. But you're also... Supply Raid is probably the better game mode anyway. You end up getting more parts, which contributes to supplies to help keep your clan healthy. Um, and you end up getting... Like, you end up doing better in Supply Raid than you would in Survivors. Now, Interrogation is a, is also a good game mode to be playing. However, I would stick to Supply Raid as it's the one many, 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 many people know best. Uh, and it's the one you'll probably get, end up getting the most downs in. Uh, but I might be a bit biased when I say that because it's personally my favorite game mode. Now, the next one, and the last one that I'm going to tell you, is sometimes you've just got to fuck off, so fuck off some of your survivors. Uh, how you do this um, is you play two or three good games, and then you skip one or two games. So you get into the game, and you just leave straight away. 
And what that will do is it will keep the clan population small enough to where you don't have to do amazing in every single game to keep your clan healthy. Uh, your clan population will be small, so your clan will stay healthy and you have a very, uh, not very, you have a increased chance of getting to that 12 weeks, 7 days. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a loadout, which is what I'm using in the gameplay, and that is a recommended loadout to do this challenge with, uh, if you don't know what, if you want a specific loadout to do this with, and that is the Enforcer Pistol, because it is fucking beast, guys, it's absolutely amazing, the crossbow, you can swap the crossbow out for something like the launcher, or... Like, you can pretty much swap it out for anything, however, I prefer crossbow just because of the rest, uh, like, just because me personally, I prefer it. Uh, covert training 2, yes, 2, uh, 2 is probably the better one, in my opinion, because not only do you start with a shiv, but you also don't show up on people's listen mode as easily. Um... And the next one is Crafter. I do recommend Crafter because you should be doing a lot of crafting in the, in the last of us. The more crafting if you do, the more parts you'll get, the more higher chance you're downing people, especially if you make bombs or smoke bombs to kill people with shivs. And last but not least, I also recommend either Lucky Break to try and get more crafting supplies or running a silencer on your enforcer instead. But anyway guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching this. This was actually a really fun video to make because it just was. If you have any other video ideas, make sure to comment them down in the comment section below. Smack that like button if you are new. Subscribe if you're new. Put post notifications on so that you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Earthcuz. Peace.